Hi, welcome back to my channel. All right, so here is another video. By the way, happy Friday. Episode 26, what everyone is wearing in Paris. I decided to do a street style episode from there since I was there less than a month ago, I think. If you've not seen it, here it is on the screen, the thumbnail, but definitely check it out after you've watched this video. I'll leave a link in the description box, but it's first ever episode done in another city, another country. Yeah, so let me know what you think. All right, so I thought I would do a video on, this is what's making your outfit look bad. Sorry, there's, there's no other way to kind of put it. And I did a video like this before, but this is like an updated version for 2022. And just like the last one, these are things that I personally do. And I just had to just run through them. I'm just going to make this a quick and easy video and tell me in the comments below if you can relate to any of them and if any of these help you at all. All right. So first one has to be wearing silk. It's one of the most breathable, easy, natural fabrics to wear and it always looks really cool. Lily Silk to this day is still my number one. This part of the video is in partnership with them. I have been partnering with Lily Silk for I think it's going to be three years now. That's how long it is that I have been wearing their silk. I don't just wear their silk because they do everything that's related to silk. It could be pillowcases, it could be sleeping caps, eye masks, bedding, pajama sets, you name it, they have it. Silk dresses, shirts like this one, which I love because it's like a manzy. You know how I love like menzy kind of cuts and this one is exactly that i love it look i just wore it just completely open up effortless that's why i like a lot of their things it just screams like you didn't put any effort into it and it just looks so chic because it's like such a good fabric do not skimp on the materials that you're wearing i think that's it at the end of the day try as much as you can to avoid man-made fabrics polyester my god try wearing that when it, the temperatures go up and see how you're going to feel under your armpits let alone anywhere else it's just awful so that is definitely number one for me as far as like materials so i picked a few things from lily silk and number one is this shirt like i said it is 100 percent mulberry silk just it's got little pinstripes on it can you see just like that so it looks like a real mensy shirt look at that look how it hangs though do you see what i'm saying it's effortless i haven't even tucked it in but if i was to see look it's just easy easy styling i love stuff like that look how it sits on my arm though just like that. And that is why I like it too. It looks like I borrowed it from like some guy. And I got it like this specifically because that's the vibe I like. So I got it like oversized. I think I got it in like extra large, which is also another thing. They have a lot of sizes on there. And I loved it so much, that shirt that I got it in this shocker that I got it in dual tone, right? But look how stunning this is. Look at that. It's beautiful. It feels so soft on your skin. And it comes in loads of different colors, by the way. I got the pinstripe this time because it has like a kind of corporate menzy lean to it. But I also obviously picked up in this dual tone. And I have a couple of shirts and blouses from Lily Silk and it's because they feel so nice on. This is sick. Look at that, just like that, just loosely. If I was to just tuck it in, look stunning it's so nice right now i have lily silk mulberry silk pillowcases right now and i'm sleeping on them i literally just picked up another one in a jewel tone it's gorgeous i'll show you i currently am sleeping on their other color which is actually the color of this which is like this sapphire blue and i sleep on it because silk on your skin feels less drying because your skin isn't rubbing against cotton it's on silk so it's just gliding over your hair as well is not drying out so you could just leave your hair out and sleep on that pillowcase so i have a few colors now or we <laughs> at michael and i have a few colors in their pillowcases and i love them all of them and they go with so many things and you could just take like a plain like plain white or something so you could just make it so it'll just go with everything that you've already got on your bedding and i do sleep with their silk hair hats as well so i've got those and it's very slightly elasticated so they don't hurt if you natural hair girls out there you know about that these are 100 percent mulberry silk try these and you can thank me later also lily silk is environmentally conscious as well because their silk is sourced from mulberry trees which require less water than cotton to grow so not all silk is created equal which is something that I didn't know and kind of had to educate myself on as well so they use 100% natural premium materials and Mongolian cashmere as well otherwise known as soft gold now they go to really great lengths Lily Silk to just keep their products clean toxic free I also picked up this bra from Lily Silk um you know I like to wear these kind of smooth type bras and I love the look of this one which is actually super comfortable so this probably won't be the last one i pick up from them but they're also which i love environmentally conscious plus they're committed to zero waste production by working with terracycle which is a world-renowned recycling company 
this also just worn open in the summer over a pair of like denim cutoffs you just got this on put and you just got like a t-shirt or tank or just like a bralette top and you have this on it's gonna look so nice or even in the evening like you're going out and you just like put this on with your jeans like this and you just put a pair of heels on it's so nice look, look at this hopefully you can see the quality of this anyway there's a couple more pieces i got as well so hold on also i picked up this top as well it's something that's really easy to wear because it's just a knit so i can just fling this on like under any kind of trench you know what i'd probably wear my pleated skirts i also have a blue one that would go really well with that so i probably wear that with this and i think it's just like a really simple piece to wear and i want to show you another one by the way like i said before they do 100 percent cashmere as well which to me is like chef's kiss because i do have a couple of polo necks by lily silk let me show you the last piece that i got by the way this is actually a silk shirt dress and i'm wearing it as a long top which is why i like wearing shirt dresses because to me you can wear them however you want you can wear them just like i'm wearing right now just like a couple of buttons just leave it really open or you can turn around and just wear it up here and open which is a look you know now i love doing just like buttoned up from here and open it so it splits open over your legs wear this over skirts it looks really good or you can bind it all the way down wear it as a proper dress and then just put a belt on top i'll show you the cutaways it's so versatile but anyway those are the pieces i picked up from lily silk and like i said before 100 mulberry silk so it's one of those things for me that i always want to have in my wardrobe as far as like the quality of the silk and just having 100% natural fibers in your wardrobe. That is something you always gotta have. Like I said to you before, I already have the silk hats to sleep in with night. I sleep in those every single night without fail. The pillowcases, that sapphire blue shirt that I just showed you, love that. And these two pinstripe shirts, this is a shirt dress though, but I, look at that. Just effortless i think i'll just leave this on anyway i'll leave a link in the description box if you ever try lily silk please let me know because it's three years running i'm telling you and we're still using and, and loving their products all right so let me move on to the rest of the things that i think personally again keyword personally are making your wardrobe look bad all right so like i was saying the nine reasons that your outfit looks bad these to me are hands down the pillars of creating a bang on outfit every single time everything i've written here works so if you're not doing these this is one of the reasons why your outfit you look in the mirror and you go what the f have i done wrong why is my outfit looking like this so here we go so the other one is add one killer accessory i cannot stress enough how many outfits you can just make look amazing just by the fact that you changed the accessory for example hats fedoras you know i love a good fedora hat there's my black one right there this one i got from city hats in uh on houston a lot of you ask every time i wear it it is so good i love it so much that i also have it in um, a tan color black and tan to me is a such neutral colors so that's why i got it in that it's got a flat brim this particular one i personally prefer flat brims like this like just completely straight i just think it looks so cool and just has a badass look so this looks so cool like i would wear honestly you got a black belt if my hair was straight i would wear this because it picks up on the black of the belt and you got the black and then you just got like something like long flowing shirt it's just kind of effortless going down the street shades on freaking bob's your uncle you know what i mean that, that is like a classic classic example for you also baseball hats you know i've been like into baseball hats i'll show you a couple of them on the screen here um it just gives a very like cool this laid back kind of vibe like you're not trying also it's good for bad hair days at the same time but it just kind of finishes a look but in a different way not necessarily in a posh like going out like i'm going some fancy way but in a cool casual streetwear kind of vibe that's why i like doing baseball hats and fedoras i just love because it's just my personal style which i will touch on in a minute but also even killer earrings as well you have your hair like slicked back and you have like a really striking earring or really cool cuff that looks amazing if i'm going to show you on the screen here a cuff that i picked up i got the upstate in new york and i love wearing that so that's a really really good one for you yeah so i got the upstate and i love it it's very striking every time i wear it i always get somebody to say something a compliment because it's just it's so unusual you don't usually see people wearing it and i'll link to some that i've seen in the description box as well and it's just one side so it's brilliant i love it. i love it can i say love it enough white sunglasses is another one when i say killer accessories i'm talking about things that truly make a difference in your outfit my white loewe sunglasses the red ones as well just wearing the white is that wow factor whenever it doesn't have to be loewe i have a, a, a less expensive pair which is by amazon and whenever i wear these on my instagram stories or on my feed you know always ask me like oh my god where are these glasses from these they're sick wow see see what i'm saying i know how good these look 
<laughs> because they do. These, these are less than $20. And I love them so much that I have them in black, obviously. And then I also have them in a blue and the blue is a really cool blue. It has like Celine Edge vibes. They look so expensive. Look at that. Sick! When I make these videos, I make them for me because, well, I make them for you, but they're things that I'm already doing. I'm not just listing out things just to list out things. I'm listing out exactly what I do. Killer accessories, definitely. Let me see. Clash soft and hard, definitely. I just did it. This is a very flowy shirt, right? Look, I'm just wearing it kind of just loose and open over a pair of jeans, right? So, because this, I would call this a really soft silhouette. It's very fluid, it moves like really easily. This is a soft silhouette. I would team it with structured, sharp line, angular accessories. For example, I would wear these because it's that contrast of something very like angular and straight against something so soft and like just fluid like this. And the same with a bag. I would team it with a structured bag because I just love that look of wearing something that is completely the opposite. But it doesn't have to be this. It could be any kind of, just a structured bag because I just love that look of contrasting together. And the same, if I was wearing like a very tailored suit, maybe if I was in the office, like a corporate job, and I was wearing something that was very tailored or even wearing a jacket that's really got sharp shoulders and I'm wearing like the trousers with it, you know, so it's like a very strong silhouette and sharp, I would contrast that by wearing a dumpling bag. I kind of like that look of just contrasting something very sharp with something very soft accessory-wise. It's that play on hard and soft. I personally do and I've seen others do as well and I think it's just very interesting but easy rule of thumb and you can do that at any price point you want and any sort of colors you want keep it neutral that's always like the safest route to go it's something that I just do now and I just love doing it what's another one wear same colors all together brilliant love this as an example this reel and TikTok that I did recently by the way if you're not following me I am on Instagram and on TikTok as well I post every single day on TikTok sometimes twice a day on TikTok basically this video I kind of like string it out into like hundreds I eventually want to get to that number believe it or not of different kind of like style hacks and style tips and challenges and style fashion tips so follow me on TikTok for that which is right here on there I did show you this I broke it down for you to style in green neon skirt it has two tones to it so to amp up that even further I went with a darker green top so that's three colors together that I'm wearing. And I could just gone out the door like that. I mean, I put an orange jacket on top, but I just wanted to pause before the jacket just to show you the idea of just wearing like all one color together. Cause I just think that's a really easy way just to style your looks and just to wear one color. And it elongates you out, like I said before, plus it looks very, very timeless and it just has a very chic effortless vibe to it. So you could do this with any of your favorite colors. If you love blue, do that with blue, a sky blue skirt, team it with a royal blue top and vice versa. And then you could take that a step further and maybe you've got a bag or a shoe that's also a different shade of blue and just wear them all together or glasses or a hat or a scarf that's got that blue and just take that color all the way from toe all the way up to your head and it just it's such a chic look please tell me you try any, any of these this is an obvious one but i'm going to throw it in anyway because you know this is what i live by wear vintage you don't have to do this with every single outfit but if you just incorporate vintage into your wardrobe it changes the uniqueness of your outfits first off i'm just going to show on screen just some pieces that i've worn over the period of months and years just adding vintage stuff is such a smart move it just it elevates in a unique way. And I say unique because no one is going to be wearing that. It adds more character to your pieces. I've talked about vintage for years on my channel. It is the backbone of a lot of my wardrobe and a lot of my outfits as well. Whether it's a vintage Kelly, which I absolutely love. This vintage thing is going nowhere. This is, look at that. Oh, from luxury promise i love this bloody thing i've always liked structured bags anyway because they was just remind me of like the 1950s and 60s but to actually pick up a piece from that time it doesn't get any better than that and it's always made so much better isn't it from then get something that's vintage i've talked about it a loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of times so definitely definitely try and do that if you have big boobs and you struggle with outfits there are lots of different things you can do to help improve an outfit that just looks wrong one for example avoid cropped jackets which can make your top half just look even bigger when you've got big boobs a cropped jacket already it actually draws your eye to this area 
because it's cropped. That's what it does. If you have big boobs on top of that or under that, and then you put a crop top, what do you think is gonna happen? It's just going to make you look even more top heavy because that's what's happening. It's emphasizing like an arrow to your boobs. If you instead want to minimize that or balance that out instead, I would not wear a crop jacket. I would go with a longer line blazer, a longer line jacket. That draws the eye up and down and it doesn't bring it right there, which is not what you wanna do. This is something that I do all the time because it's really a style hack. It has improved certain things that I wear. I like to wear high-waisted jeans, okay? That's just a thing that I love. Trousers, same thing. I love to wear high-waisted things. I just like how it flatters my shape here and just kind of sucks me in. A lot of you feel the same way. Especially like during like the winter, but also during the summer as well, because I'm gonna do it now. I used to wear things and tuck them in and I would get that bunching around here because of that. So to avoid all of that, what I do is I wear like a sports bra or a sports tank and I will tuck under the top so that I just have just above the waistband. It's such a cool hack and I love doing that. I'll show you the screen here. I do it all the time. I do it with tank tops, t-shirts, with button down shirts. It's just such an easy way to take off the bulk of putting things down here and trying to smooth it out. It never smooths out enough, does it? It's just gonna like scrunch up and bulk here no matter how much you try and flatten it out. Or you can see the outline of it, God forbid, of your shirt. So just tuck it under instead and it just really kind of changes the look of your top. Another one. Got a skin bearing dress and hate your arms. Yes, this is something that I live by all the time. You can definitely obviously wear a layer, a shirt or your t-shirts under your slip dresses. This is gonna apply right now because of the temperatures as it started to go up. Just layer a t-shirt underneath your slip dress and then you can wear it. Cause a lot of them are just like spaghetti strap, like most of them are. And if you don't like the skin that's revealed, just wear something like that underneath it. It's like a t-shirt. I have here, don't go anywhere, I have a dress and I got it from Coz. I haven't styled it yet. This will apply to anybody who gets something like this, right? It's a baby doll style dress, but you know how I'm gonna wear it? I'm gonna rock it with like a shirt, like a really nice blouse under it. And I think that's going to create such a nice look. Because it's a deep V as well, I would go with like a high waisted, this is like my Ganny blouse. I'd wear it because it's like a full sleeve as well. It's just gonna create such a nice look. Just, ah, you see what I'm saying? It's just that, you've got like that, all you see is this, you've got like the deep V of the dress, but then you've got like the full sleeve coming out here. This looks, so, I love stuff like that. Don't be afraid if you see dresses like this and you're thinking, oh my God, how the hell would I wear something like that with all my arms out? Because you don't have to have your arms out in the first place. Okay, so which number was that? I have no idea. Hopefully we are numbering on the screen. Find your personal style. Now I know this sounds easy and obvious, like it's like a blanket statement for me to say, find your personal style and you're good. This will help guide everything else I'm probably saying. When you find out what your personal style is, that is how you figure out what to buy, what you are looking at, what you wear, and how you wear it. It will dictate how you shop from this video going forward, I'm telling you. This underpins everything, it becomes the base and the foundation of your style life. And that sounds like a really massive statement to say. It's 100% true. Once you've figured out what your style is, that helps to avoid the mistakes in what you're buying because you're gonna stick to things that match your kind of aesthetic, that match your kind of style. If you're thinking, but I don't know what my personal style is, the way to help really quickly identify your personal style is when you're at your most relaxed state in what you're wearing, it's because of something you are wearing. And whatever it is you're wearing is the basis of your personal style. Maybe it's jeans. You like wearing jeans. It could be as simple as that. Go back to your most kind of relaxed state when you are dressing. What's your go-to outfit when you're going out somewhere? Someone just says, oh, let's meet up for a drink in like an hour and you fling something on. There's usually that go-to pieces or piece that you like to wear. What does that piece look like? What style category does it fall into? I'm trying to help you identify what your personal style is. Next one. Do not prioritize fashion too much over your own style. This is kind of piggybacking off the other point I just made. This is a fashion channel. This is Karen Britchick helping you to find your own style. This, when you are looking at fashion trends, and why am I talking like a robot? That kind of masks your personal style and it can confuse it. I've been guilty of it. I will fall for some trends and I will wear them and I'll be like, what am I doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not made. It doesn't feel like made. Very quickly, I will dump it. What I wear the longest is my style. Here's a really clear cut example of that. Trends are things you can look at, but you don't necessarily have to follow unless it truly is your personal style. This is why I'm going to show you right here. I fell for a trend. I say this is a trend because it's such an epic shoe. And I got it. And I'm going to show you it right here. Literally, I'm going to box it in front of you. These bad boys I have been looking at. If you are on Instagram, you already know how much I've been like thinking about these. 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 These are whoa, bam, whoa. wow, what, bam, check that out, what, amazing, right, these are the Valentino platform shoes, the ones that you've seen all over your feed probably, and I caved and I got them, platforms in general are a shoe category, they are not a trend, but this particular shoe is somewhat of a trend, as well as the Versace ones are. But I still really love them, so I caved and I got them. But, can I wear them though? Can, can I, ask, ask me, ask me, can I wear them? No, <laughs> I can't, I tried, I really tried. I can't, I can't bring myself to wear them, and they are stunning, they are to me a work of art, but they are also somewhat of a trend. I got these because I just fell for the, the fact that they were everywhere and I would see people wearing them and they just look stunning on and they still, I mean, and look, they're a stunning shoe. But for me, I feel like I fell for the bit of the trend of these because they just don't work for me in my wardrobe and in my lifestyle. I just can't. I do need heels. I badly need heels because I just wear chunky boots 24-7 right and you know that even i am getting tired of it i want to break it up even though that is my style and that's what i love and i always will by the way i want to change it up just like anyone else so i'm looking to start getting heels i went straight to these ones thinking that these were the ones that i needed let's give you some more shoe candy and i just could not i just couldn't wear them and i just feel like i'm wearing them because i got sucked into that trend so instead i went with something that's more my personal style and they are a heel for a start 99 percent of you are going to hate these here's a clue already to what I got but for me it's a heel boot and it's way more my vibe it's way more my style and it's the tabbies yes I have the loafers in them but I got them in the boot and it's like a vintagey soft leather as well and they are amazing the heel is thick and wearable it's also a cylindrical heel which I kind of love it's you know the quintessential part that everyone loves to hate but I don't care because I love them and that's what matters when it comes to your personal style I could not for the life of me figure out these I can easily figure out these though because these speak to me way more I feel like these these will stand the test of time for me these aren't trendy boots these are a category of shoe by Margiela which you either love or you don't but it really is about the person who who wears them it's their kind of vibe it's their style it's who they are and that's what they want to wear look what I'm wearing and then this but that is what I'm talking about. It's just trying to explain to you really, really easily. Just prioritize style over fashion. <laughs> style versus fashion. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? That to me is a very real life tangible example for you. I'm telling you, once you start to master any of these things, you'll start to go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. She was right, she was right yourself on the back afterwards once you start to go through these anyway that is it my loves do not forget like i said the lily silk code for you it is on the screen and let me know if you get anything i have been using and wearing and shopping with lily silk for a number of years now i've always got lily silk in my wardrobe and on the bed as well let me know your top favorite outfit hit tick below i can't I was see gonna slide in, do but not my, do not my socks have grippies on them anyway. Yo, that could have gone really bad you could have fallen into the what do you think of these oh my god they're like massive that's what she said but what do you think <laughs> they're cool though fix my hair oh you can see your reflection <laughs> so what do you think of these versus these these look like I'm ready to go to a strip club, but 
excellent, like really, really cool. And then these are like cool and <laughs> yeah, go ahead. and like fashion forward, like, I don't know, it's just unique because of like the shoe heel is very different, the split toe, you know, you know, you can see that's very cool. Anyway, I know nothing about fashion, obviously, if I make comments like this. <laughs> You're looking down again, you got to look up at the screen, they got, yeah, oh, there. Oh, sorry, yeah. yes. I, just making comments like this, this is obviously me, I have no idea about fashion. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. I was gonna suggest yes. the best accessory. Yeah, yes. Is me. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. Oh. All right, now if you wear those big towel shoes, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to anyway because I don't. He doesn't mind if I wear high heels. By the way, he's not that kind of guy. But um, these are just too much for me. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. It's gonna be stuttering. I just can't do it. I tried. I tried. I'll probably take a really pretty Instagram picture and maybe a reel and maybe a TikTok, but that's going to be it. And they're going to go back. So anyway, that's it, my loves. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. See you on Friday. Between now and next week, you know what I'm going to say. I'll see you on Instagram. I'll see you on TikTok. All right? Bye.